you tonight navigating navigating our new everyday lives safely. More and more places are reopening this week, but the pandemic is not letting up, so we wanted to help. Tonight, Dr. Dahlia Walks is ranking the top 10 places by coronavirus risk, and here's 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter with that breakdown. Most fell in the medium to high rank, coming in at number five, medium risk or hair and nail salons. But, but because you're right there up in their face, you know, or waxing their eyebrows, things like that, you can't do that six feet social distancing. According to new COVID-19 guidelines from the Center for Disease Control at Nail Salons, they advise to wait in your car until your appointment and to pay with your phone. On the higher end of the medium range, Dr. Dahlia says, are sit-down restaurants, grocery stores, inside malls, and churches. Also, doctor's offices, which can pose danger due to a higher concentration of sick people in one place. Inching closer to number 10 are bars and casinos, along with gyms. You're exhaling a lot, so gyms need that extra social distancing much more than six feet. The CDC advises gym goers to wipe down equipment with disinfecting wipes and to wear a mask if the workout is low intensity. Now, parents, listen up. Two locations are tied for highest risk, according to Dr. Dahlia. First, she says, daycares. How can kids be compliant? You know, kids put things in their mouth, they touch things. Also, the DMV. You start to come up on the person ahead of you. You almost mentally try to move yourself closer. So to keep that six feet distance and to see that desk far away, I think the DMV, because of how busy and how we don't have enough of them, I would say give that a 10. And if you rely on public transportation, the CDC says to keep a row of seats between yourself and other passengers and to avoid touching handrails. Austin Carter, 13 Action News.